my body is totally freaking me out. There is hair everywhere. Wiry hair, like the scratchy bit you get in the back of a kitchen sponge, in my armpits and on my legs. Shaz, that's Sharon, my best mate. She says that I need to start waxing my legs and maybe my armpits too. Ouch! Shaz says that I could shave instead if I wanted to, which wouldn't hurt at all. But the hair would come back thicker and stronger and before long, I'd look like a gorilla. No thanks. It's so embarrassing. Kaz, that's Karen. Not as best of a mate as Shaz, just a mate. She wears proper bras, like real ones, not stupid training bra. What's the training bra even for anyway? And that <coughs> strap of the back with the stupid hooks, bug me. <coughs> I think the only half decent reason to wear a training bra is to get my chest used to being covered by scratchy material. Kaz says, no self-respecting girl would be caught dead with a bra without any lace on it. Bras without lace just look like sports bras, ugh. I suppose the other good thing is when the guys try to slap our backs for absolutely no reason except to check whether we're wearing a bra or not. At least I have a strap there to feel. I would be unbelievably embarrassed if all they felt was an undershirt. Kaz and Shaz, so I'll never have a chance with Justin Bieber unless he knows that I wear a bra. I could put some socks in it. I tried that the other day and it was so uncomfortable. I was still wearing them at dinner and my big brother just started pointing and laughing. <laughs> I guess I hadn't put them in properly. Sorry. Um, so my mum took me aside for a little chat about how all good things come their own good time. Whatever! And as for Justin Bieber, who knows? Maybe I forget the chance to talk to him. He might even like me and not even care whether I wear a bra or not. This whole grown-up stuff is just way too complicated. I want to stay a kid forever.